Once upon a time, there lived a little man in the woods. He was a shoemaker, and he would make green, gold, and lavender shoes for the people who lived nearby. Village people paid the leprechaun with coins of gold for the shoes that he cobbled. However, the leprechaun was a bit of a miser and saved all the gold coins in an old metal pot. One day, a man named Tim visited the leprechaun, placing his order for violet blue shoes with thick heels. But Tim's eyes were on something far more precious, the pot of gold. He knew if he captured the leprechaun, he'd have to grant him three wishes because leprechauns are magic. He left with criminal plans for when he comes back to collect his shoes. The leprechaun, however, was no fool. So he buried his pot of gold in a field of berry bushes. A few days later, when Tim returned to collect his shoes, he captured the leprechaun through trickery. He asked for three selfish wishes, the location of the hidden gold, a hundred pairs of shoes, and three more wishes for the third wish. The leprechaun grudgingly granted the first two, but refused to grant the third one as it was a greedy trick. The leprechaun showed the spot where the gold was buried, but Tim did not have a shovel, so he marked the spot with a stick and a shoe, only to return in a few minutes. When Tim returned, he could not believe his eyes. There were 200 shoes with 200 sticks all over the field. Tim dug many holes, but could not find the gold. When he at last tried to collect the shoes, his second wish, they all disappeared. The leprechaun tricked him. The leprechaun now realized he needed a better hideout for his gold, and he knew nobody could find the end of the rainbow except him. Because, just like leprechauns, rainbows are magic. People still try to find his gold, but they never will.